Hi, everybody. My name is Patrick Collins. I'm a developer advocate on the Chainlink project, and I'm going to be showing you how to get Chainlink price feed data into your smart contracts on the Harmony testnet. This is going to enable you to build incredibly, incredibly powerful features. Just a quick look at even DeFi Pulse. Many of these top decentralized applications are using these price feeds to build their protocols. Aave, Compound, Synthetics, these are all protocols that are using Chainlink price feeds in order to enable them to do whatever they want to do with this data. So let's go ahead and learn how to do this. Now, if ever you get lost, you're always going to want to refer back to the Chainlink documentation. It will always have the most up-to-date code on how to get it, best practices, tips, and tricks. So if we go to docs.chain.link, we can scroll down to using price feeds. You can learn more about them here, but we're just going to go to get the latest price and we're gonna scroll down and we'll see this big chunk of solidity here. This is all you need in order to work with your code. And we're even gonna take a shortcut, hit deploy this contract with Remix, and that contract block is show up in Remix. That's this contract to the left, or excuse me, to the right here. We have a solidity version. We're importing the Chainlink code from the Chainlink GitHub repository. We're gonna call our contract price consumer v3, and all we really have to do is choose the address of the price contract. Now, this one is set up for Coven, uh, which is an Ethereum testnet. Let's go ahead. We'll go to contract addresses. We'll scroll down to Harmony price feeds, and we can choose whatever we want in here. So let's get the price of the one token in terms of USD. We'll just grab this address here, move back over to Remix, change the address, and we'll even change this, we'll say one testnet, and this will be one USD. And, and all we'll have is we'll have this function called get the latest price that will call the latest price and get the latest price on this price feed contract. Now to deploy this, we'll go to the deploy tab. We'll change our environment to injected web three, which means we'll be using MetaMask. You'll need to be on the Harmony testnet in your MetaMask. And if you're looking to set up your MetaMask to use Harmony, you can go check out the Harmony documentation, docs.harmony.one. There's a MetaMask setup in here, as well as some faucets for getting some testnet one into your smart, uh, into your MetaMask. And then all we have to do is change our contract to price consumer V3. We'll hit deploy. MetaMask will pop up. We'll go ahead and confirm. And after our contract has been deployed, now we have this get latest price, which returns the price of the one token. You might be asking, oh, why is it so such a weird number? Well, decimals don't work so great at solidity. So this actually has eight decimal places. So it's really 0 0.1166. And you can see that reflected in the documentation within eight decimal places here. If you want to learn more about how these price feeds work, how to get everything set up and everything like that, head over to the tutorial section and go to the basics. There's a video here which will explain how these price feeds actually work. It'll give you an introduction to smart contracts and everything else you need. Additionally, you can learn about the different architectures and how all these prices are getting aggregated and how they actually work. Additionally, if you prefer Truffle, Brownie, Hardhat, or any other development frameworks, you can check out github.com slash smart contract kit for any of these frameworks. For example, we'll look at Hardhat and we'll see that this has instructions on how to actually deploy all these chain link tools to a chain with the hardhead framework. All we'd have to do is go into our hardhead config.js and we would just add a new network for the one testnet. You can additionally check out the Chainlink documentation for working with any other tools or any other features that Chainlink has. Feel free to drop it to the Discord, ask any questions, and looking forward to seeing the amazing things that you build.